Hello, my name is Vincent Louvel and I developed a new protocol for imaging biological structure. From organisms to molecules, structure and function are interdependent. If the structure is wrong, the function is lost. Let's take an example. The Toxoplasma gondii parasites can lead to stillbirth when infecting pregnant women. And one part of the parasites, called the conoid, is responsible for its infectiousness. Understanding its organization and structure can lead to solutions to prevent the infection. But to do so, we need to see the conoid with a resolution that is close to 2 million times smaller than a needle head. To image structure at this scale, we need microscopes, and two of them are the most used, electron microscopes and fluorescent microscopes. The first one has a sub-nanometrical resolution. However, having specific labeling is challenging and laborious. In contrary, with fluorescence microscopy, the labeling is really easy and fast. But the physics laws dictate that the resolution cannot be smaller than 200 nanometer, while we need nanometrical resolution. Could we then combine high resolution and protein identification into one technique? In my PhD, I developed a protocol with fluorescence microscopy that can bring the resolution down to 10 nanometer, one of the best achievable in the field. But how? If the resolution cannot be improved by improving the microscopes, one way is to physically expand the sample. This is the principle of expansion microscopy. In the protocol I developed, the sample is expanded between 16 to 24 times its original size, reducing then the resolution limit by the same factor. Going back to the Toxoplasma Gondii example, thanks to this protocol, it is now possible to see under a very common fluorescent microscope the particular organization of the conoid with both high resolution and specificity. With this tool, scientists can have a new understanding of the structure and the biology of the parasites. Here, high resolution and protein identification are now combined into one technique. On top of this, the protocol can be applied to a lot of different biological samples, and it's easy to implement and accessible to every lab around the world.